David Eichel here with HawkeyeInsider.com. Please again to be joined by Sean Bach. And Sean, as we kind of continue the schedule breakdown, uh, an interesting question, you know, uh, popped in my head and I kind of want to get your opinion on it. What would be more impactful for Iowa, not even just this season, but even going forward for the next couple of years? Would a win against Wisconsin be bigger or a win at Ohio State? Because I think you can make a case for either. Yeah, I mean, because we saw in what was that 2017, Iowa took took one at home against Ohio State. And I mean, mm-hmm. people are still people are still talking about it too. Um, mm-hmm. And that's good. I mean, Iowa obviously ended that year um, winning the pinstripe bowl, but I think when you're looking big picture, obviously it depends to see where things kind of stand um, when you're playing Wisconsin second week or second to last weekend of the regular season this upcoming year. And I think that, because I mean, if you're, if you're in contention for the big 10 West, like I think that's the one you want to win. I would take, if I were a fan, if I were Iowa, I'd take the, I'd take the game against Wisconsin because look, I mean, you haven't beat them since 2015. They got a they got a decent team this year, but I mean, there's really nothing special. I mean, Jack Cohn um, is probably the most underappreciated quarterback in the country, um, with a guy like Graham Mertz right behind him. Uh, they're mm-hmm. always going to have a solid offensive line. They bring back a few receivers, lose a couple receivers. Don't have Jonathan Taylor, which is huge. Um, so I mean, there's definitely the pieces in place for Iowa to top Wisconsin. I mean, they didn't get it done last year at. At Camp, at Camp Randall, um, couldn't do it the year before, and then the two years before that couldn't get it done. Um, but I mean, to my like, to not to my knowledge, they were fairly close games the past two years as well, and like they were just like one or two plays away from possibly that game swinging in a different direction. So, I think if you're looking at a game that's a must win, I'm I'm going with Wisconsin. I think that one's the most important on the Iowa schedule. Yeah, and, you know, I do think, Sean, you're right. I mean, look, Wisconsin's taken, I believe, six out of the last seven, maybe even seven out of the past eight. But you look back to last year, there was that two-point, kind of controversial two-point conversion uh, where, you know, Nate Stanley had the draw, but there was an official in the way, and that kind of altered the play. But, granted, Wisconsin really, I thought, deserved to win the game. They made the plays, you know, down the stretch. And, again, I think two years before, it was 28-17. But, remember, it was a late interception. Wisconsin broke away a big run. Uh, that made it an 11-point game. It really was a lot closer than the score indicated. But, look, I think you're exactly right. I think I think if you're an Iowa fan, you take beating Wisconsin because there, it's a tough physical game. The two teams are so much alike, and it's a matchup. That I think there's a mutual respect factor there. But like you said, the Big Ten West goes through Madison. I know Northwestern won it a couple of years ago, but the Big Ten West runs through Madison. While beating Ohio State, they might be a top three team at the time at Ohio State, and knocking them out of the national championship contention would be massive. If you're talking about getting back into a conference title game and winning a Big Ten title, which I think is Iowa's ultimate goal at this point, even more than national title, ultimate goal is to win the Big Ten, I think you have to take the win against Wisconsin. But again, I think you can make an argument uh, for either case. Again, complete coverage and a whole lot more at HawkeyeInsider.com. So be sure to stay tuned because a lot more content is coming.